Hi, small groups. This is for the week of April 25th. So I want to encourage you to reread Matthew uh, chapter 18, verses 15 through 22. Think about what those scripture, that scripture means to you. And then I am asking you to think about conflict and think about those times when you have modeled Matthew 18, when you have taken it directly to the person. What was that like? And then think about the places where maybe you um, didn't do Matthew 18 or didn't do it as well. And think about and reflect on how those conversations went. And then, because we're all people and we probably have um, some sort of conflict going on right now, I just want you to think about that person who first comes to mind when you think about someone that you're in um, attention with. Maybe it's your spouse. Maybe it's a child, one of your children. Maybe it's a parent. Maybe it's a physical neighbor, maybe it's a coworker, maybe it's a friend or a former friend. And I want you to first pray for that person, to say their name out loud, to write their name down, and to first pray for that person. And then I want to encourage you to really pray this week about how you can engage in Matthew 18. If you've already gone to them directly, is it time to bring in a mediator? <laughs> Um, is it time to do that to see if you can come to a resolution? Um, or is it time to set up those boundaries that you need to protect your heart because you've done all of Matthew 18, they still have not um, been held accountable for how they've hurt you, and now it's time to treat them as a Gentile and a tax collector, as Jesus says. Again, someone we're still called to love, but it's okay to put up some boundaries um, to keep yourself safe. So that's what I really want you to think about because, friends, I'm telling you, this is powerful stuff. This is really the, the, the heart of forgiveness is when we first are direct with someone because then it releases our hearts, the parts of us that keep holding on um, to that resentment that, again, sometimes the person doesn't know that they've done. So um, it really begins to free our heart. Forgiveness really is our heart work. And then it also encourages the other person to be held accountable, um, to maybe explain themselves, because likely they didn't mean to offend you. I have found the more I've done this work, the more I realize the world does not revolve around me, and that's a good thing. You know, I, I, our brains tend to make us think that the world's against us, everyone's against us. But the truth is most people don't think about us that much, and that's a good thing. Not because they don't love us, but they're not out to get us. They are truly just trying to be the best people they can be too. And sometimes they mess up because we're all human. And so as we have these hard conversations, we often learn that no offense was, was meant. Um, and it can lead to that healing and restoration. So that's my prayer for all of us to truly have that healing and restoration. All right, friends, please let me know how I can be praying for you, how I can be supporting you in these difficult conversations. But again, the steps that help us to be that healthy family that we seek to be. All right, friends, have an awesome week.